alamina ya mujiba sa'ilina ahablana min karusada wa thabata wa yaqina rabbi jammilna bi'ilmi wa hadina dunya wa dina wa hamina min kulli su'in wa ansuril khairat fina wa nahil islam izza ya ba'thun nasr mubina ya ilaha alamina Ya ilaha al-alamina A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Alladhi ahadana ila saratihi al-khair Wa arsala ilayna nabiyyahu بالرشد وتوفيق محمد رسول الله عبده ورسوله ونشهد أن لا إله إلا هو وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وحبيبنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أيضا وبعد أدعو بفن اللهم وبتي يجكونا نبوك وجتي وهو المعبود Lovati Josin Tosi Wal Mahabud Ati Obati Kama Dukwe Tio Tosi Adukwe Fon Olong Obana Lord Bousi Shua Lenya Ati Kousi Yonra Alabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Tio Nwa Wasua Lato Wa Juwe Fon Wani O Me Pa Abu Ola Ye Kine Yetu Olong Kine Yeru Olong Lodo Wa Lodo Ya Ye Kilo Veka Ma Ni Pa Ye Kilo De Veka Ma Ni Pa Olong Oba Tabatu Wa Ma Ota Kine Kato Veka Shi qui est venu à la soura, qui est venu à la soura. Allahu Akbar. On m'a dit qu'il n'y a pas d'un homme qui a été venu à la soura. Qui est venu à la soura, qui est venu à la soura, qui est venu à la soura, qui est venu à la soura. Je suis venu à la soura, qui m'a dit qu'il n'y a pas d'un homme qui a été venu à la soura. Je suis venu à la soura, qui est venu à la soura, qui est venu à la soura. Bani so ba nou jewan la soko yi bani so di donu fon. Yi ton do an yinon bani so di alikon yi donu. Ma jye ki ba nou jye wobe. O la la hawlan wa la kuwata illa billa la ali la adi. The topic is Ali jihad hiya da'watu fi sabi lallah bima namlik. A da'watu fi sabi lallah bima tamlik. A da'watu fi sabi lallah bima amlik. Ma tin belen yin ba yye ma al mausul yani. Simplify simple as a lovey that with whatever tamlik you are capable of. If I may ask, what is your own capacity capacity? Al jihad. Igbe yaju. Nijorubani. Struggling for something. Lede enyimbo. Struggling for something. That is the word jihad. It might be jihad for Isabel Allah. Jihad for the man. Jihad for anything that it is. If you say jihad for Isabel Allah, that is struggle to do something on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jihad for the man. Struggle to get money to make your income. Jihad is just a simple word. But I'm now convinced why people are now making use of this jihad jihad to make trouble throughout the world. Arabic, we should not forget. Arabic is just a main language. It's a language. It's just for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that authorizes us that we should be speaking it in Islam. So what I I'm about to say now about this jihad. The hard simply means struggling for something. If you struggle for you to have reward from your maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is all because you must have first of all have your intention before the action.
the intention must have come first before the activities, before the action will be taken. It's either you are struggling to make more money, you are struggling to one hand it says in woman cannot hijra to who illa lahi or a soul if I draw to him Allah whoever does his own jihad illa lahi because for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if I draw to him Allah the kind of person shall be rewarded as up, up, on, up, on that in accordance with it with his or our intention of the need Woman cannot draw to who the dunya but whoever that is own the heart, the dunya, is own struggling, the dunya, is for these worldly things alone, our immorality no soul, Whoever that is or her own the heart is to make more things, is to gather worldly things in this in this life with her, is to gather things like that, to make more money, to, to buy more vehicles, to build more houses, to be in another position, and many more. Allah says to the Prophet that that shall be given to that person. How immoral to all you are struggling in order to marry a young woman, a young lady. You know, it might be like that. You know how some, some men does. You don't want to get done with a lady, you know. You do you know how you know how you do things over there. I'm not going to say that. Anyway, I'm a man like you, but I think we know ourselves. That should be behind the scene. Tunkihua, the Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi says, Tunkihua, a person shall get it. But your intention of your intention behind any action of yours will be determined for your reward. Do you think Islam is all about killing? As this jihad simply means struggling for something is it that you're struggling for the sake of god or struggling for worldly things you know intention is within you this is the same thing of this islam this word islam means as salam salam simply means go and check it yourself simply means the peace you align the peace to reign wherever you are simply means you are a muslim it's not limited to you observe salat you do zakat you fast in the month in the only month of Ramadan or you have money you go for the pilgrimage go for Mecca for the normal thing they're supposed to do there that's not it's not limited to that it's all about allowing making the peace allow the peace to reign everywhere you are with your companions with your people at work with your friends everywhere you are anywhere you find yourself that is simply Islam and I said the jihad simply means a da'a to fissabillah habima namlik. That means a da'a, calling the people fissabillah to the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bima yamlik in accordance with your own capacity. So if I may ask you now, what's your own capacity? You know you have money? Not every one of us will have the time of preaching here and there. Not every one of us. But at work you are, what do you do there? At home, what do you do with your wife, with your kids, with your children, your family? How do you relate with them? Are you the kind of person that you allow peace to reign everywhere you are? Are you making things difficult for people? Or are you are the kind of person that, that normally loves to make things easier for others? If you are this kind that you love making things easier for others, that makes you a Muslim. But if you are making things difficult for others, you are not a Muslim. You are a different person in the, the types. What does the heart contain? Are just three things. The first one is al-ibadah. Al-ibadah, to worship the Lord always. Either you are a Muslim or you are non-Muslim. Know your God because either you show that you know your, your God or not. Your, your God know whoever you are. Your God know you. The first thing is an ibadah. Just in front of 
leni ti yo ye pe rara re lati nu emi e fun olohun pelu ipaya ko di ba to ba to npa won eyan ko di ba to ba to nse ka fa won eyan that is not islam a ma mix e ta ma so pe eh awon muslims e won kan pa yan won kan pon bi ran dia it's never like that i'm using this opportunity to tell you that it is not correct It's not right. It's not correct. It's never like that. Who are the Muslims? Yes, anybody who has shake me or do who has struggle because of, for the sake of God Almighty, that person is doing the hard. He just simply struggling. And I can come back to Al Ibada. No, I'm typing Al Ibada. So what is Ibada? is to worship your god muslim and we observe prayer five times daily prayer that is compulsory and aside that we have other ones that are voluntary voluntary that is if you are able to do that there will be reward but if you are unable to do that you're not going to be punished for it but the compulsory one that are five times daily prayers must be observed at the right time at the various times and if you refuse to do that there will be punishment from your god but the voluntary one if you don't do it no problem there will be no reward and at the same time there will be no punishment now you know you just sin you know you far right in for long ara sise iyen bawo le mi wa se lori e you know sometimes when you start praying in the mosque on church on way anywhere even let me use this one of in the mosque to about to say allah akbar if i thought it is the prayer that is supposed to recite the surah louder the shaitan shet- will come right away to your front i'll be telling you look at your right side look at your front side someone is there looking at you make sh- make sure you, you you speak louder so that they will hear you Now the Satan is there to disturb you. He just, he just is there to distract you. Because he doesn't want you to have that reward. So most of us are now, and most of us are praying. While we are praying, you'll be thinking of yes, this is this is the salah that I will need to, 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 to speak louder. So that I want everyone around here in the mosque to know that I know how to recite. I know that you do very well. That means you are doing yourself. Like we normally used to say in secondary school. Or in primary school rather. I used to say you are killing yourself. But this one is not a matter of joking. You are deceiving yourself because you are allowed shaitan to distract you from ibadah. So your ibadah have that intention. If you want to say yes for somebody on, on on anything, make it make sure it is because of God. If you want to do anything for anybody, make sure it's because of God. Try and be concentrated on what is the God concerned about that thing before you dwell into it. And if you want to say no, make sure you are very sure that Allah has said no. Your God has said no about it before you say no. If you want to be friend with someone, be friend, be friendly to anybody, become anyone's friend because of for the sake of God. I if you want to become an enemy to anybody for the sake of God, that is Al Ibada. And the second one, which is the jihad, that's the jihad that I've been talking about. This is is the jihad as what? Be amwa likum wa anfusik. Instruct to suffer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Tu'minu billahi wa rasulihi wa tujahidun wa tujahidun fi sabil Allah bi amwalikum wa anfusikum dhalikum khairul lakum in kuntum ta'lamun Tu'minu billah that means the first of all is to believe in your god have this strong belief in Allah not that anything that you have for from him and it's happened is just by his wish it's not that you know how to pray very well it's not that you know how to work very well that's why you are able to get that and you struggle for something are you able to have it it's not that you are you it's not that you are, you are the best it's not that you better you are just fortunate i just fortunate to have it at that time from god you just do it so be no be la i've asked for something and 
that has not happened the way you want it. That doesn't mean God has not heard you. He heard you and is still going to do it. He might want to test you. He might want to clear ways for you. Because if that is eventually done for you, there might be some people around you who is not going, who, who, who might not allow, who might not going to allow you to enjoy that thing. So God is there to clear them for you. That's why there's delay. Somebody who prayed for money to become worthy. Now, next tomorrow, into this time. But in his, in his destiny, he's supposed to die tomorrow. The two days become not come, that is next tomorrow. The person does not have the money, has not become worthy, is now blaming God. Do the calculation very well. And the person has forgotten that he is supposed, it's just as he didn't know. He has forgotten that he is supposed to, he is supposed to die, to have died since yesterday. But God will use the prayer, he, who, the prayer that he has asked for, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has accepted for him, about concerning that one of wealth for him to become worthy. God has used that one to cover up for him not to die. A day before that day. And you are blaming God. So your worship and your itihad make it be to God. The position you have, use it for God, for your heart. Not by, by disturbing people. Don't do that. The blame with whatever you do. Anybody around you deserves your respect. They deserve your audience, if they want to talk to you, listen to them. You are not too big. If you are too big, if you think you are too big to serve, that means you'll be very, very small. You'll be very, very, very small to lead. That means you'll be too small to be a leader. Because for you to be a leader to anybody, even to be a leader for your children, to be a leader for your wife, that means you have to serve them. Because you need to sacrifice for them. You need to sacrifice your time, to sacrifice for your knowledge, to sacrifice your money for them. That is when you become something. That's why even the government, the government of every country, if you are there in any position you have been elected to, it's for you. The purpose of being there, to, to, of being in that position, is, for, is to serve your people. The people that elected you in is to serve them. Because they believe, they had that belief that, yes, if this person is opportune to get this to, to this position, yes, there will be something we shall enjoy. And you got there, then you change things for them. Do you think they will pray for you? If I thought they didn't, if I thought they don't cause you. No, they are, they are, their mind is always there. The promise we made to them, the time of campaign, is there. And they will never forget. If I didn't say anything, the word is there. So whatever you do, your jihad, your struggling. Is either for money, is either with your money and for money, or with your money, or with yourself. You need to sacrifice yourself in order for people to enjoy whatever you are doing with them. And thirdly, Husn al Khulik, the best of mankind, is Prophet Muhammad. Let's try to be a good person with ourselves, with our parents, especially with our parents. Be good. Allah says in Jahadaka and to Sirika be my lesser like be a lemon, fell out to Tarahuma. So, what Allah is really talking about here is that in Jahadaka, if you have been authorized by any of your parents, and to Sirika be, that means to find another God, to worship another God, except me, the Creator, fell out to Tarahuma. That means you must not obey them, you must not be an unkind to them, be kind. You can only disobey them on this, but in other things they want you to do, just do. Be obedient to them, except they want you to worship another thing, except Allah. You can disobey them, but you, you must be kind with them. If you want to say no to them, be kind. Take it easy with them. Do not shout. You do not shout on them. Never see yourself in their presence, whatever your position. Whenever you have to talk with your parents, with any of your parents, and even people like them, call and carry my be ease. What does Allah means by being be ease? That means Ahfid Allahumma Jana Hadul Rahma. No matter, irrespective of your position, no matter your position, Ahfid Allahumma Jana Janahak, 
your position should come down whenever you are with your parents. This is part of jihad. If you are saying you are a good Muslim, you are a good worshiper of Allah, and you are not kind with people, especially your parents, that means you are deceiving yourself. And most of you are out there that you are just following some people. Do not follow anybody without Allah. Never enjoy yourself with any group that you, you have not made you, that you have not made the the proper assignment of yours of yours about them before you join yourself with them. Because you never know. Many people are just there, they paint themselves different colors. You think they are this, you think they are the best. But when you are able to see them beyond the camera, you see other things. They don't practice what they tell people. Be good, be kind everywhere you are. Be kind with your parents, be kind with your leader, your teachers, even your companions, your wife, your husband, you wife at home. And you are pointing your hand onto your husband. That's what you have been rude. Have you forgotten that he is the father of your children? Have you forgotten you have been given to him? Ever since that very day you have been given to him, the day they came to pay your dowry, ever since then, everything you do, as from that very day henceforth, throughout your lifetime, one is in the year after, he is the one that is going to be responsible for it. Your Lord is not going to ask you, you wife, God is not going to ask you any question concerning that. He is the one responsible for that. The person that is responsible for everything you are hidden and everything you do, and is still the same person you are pointing your hand to, to his nose with anger. That means you are you are moving closer. You are moving closer to so the place where, where you shall perish. Allah Akbar. These three things, if you can manage it, then we say is that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala really loves us. He now said, "Two million of Allah." First of all, believe in God sincerely. Not by a car, not by using car, not by your dress, not by the word, not by your speech, not by what you say to people. First of all, have this strong belief in God. That's, and always remember that there shall be a day that you, 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 you become only yourself in the grave. Find yourself in the grave. And there will be no one to get you escaped out of it. No window, no door. You shall find yourself in there. So may not be Allah. Sincerely believe, have this belief in God. And the prophets that are sent to the world. And there are this, you know, there are many, there are thousands in number. But there are these special ones that special books have been given to through. David is one of them. Moses is one of them. David in Islam Quran calls Daud. So the book given to Daud is Sab Sabur, Moses, Taurat, and Jesus, alayhi salam, Prophet Isa, alayhi salam, may the peace of Allah be unto him. He too was given the Bible. The last one of them is Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that was well given Quran. And all these books, they are all trying to come one after the other.